everybody or should I say good night? Well for me it's good night, for you it's good morning or for some of you it might be good night. But I am just home from my third 12 hour night shift. It is like 9 o'clock in the morning. I've only really just got home. I've just attended to Pixie and Roxy, gave them breakfast, took them out. Um, Jamie is away to work. And I thought I would jump on and record a quick video and to be fair, I wasn't going to do it just now. I was going to wait until after I'd had a sleep because usually after night shift I have a, just a couple of hours, like not a full sleep, but just kind of half of what I would usually have and then just get up and laze about the rest of the day. But the last couple of times I've done that, I've felt really ill and like I've felt worse when I've woken up. So I thought I might be better doing this video now before I actually go to sleep and I do feel pretty rotten at the moment but I thought if I just get this done and record it then that way when I wake up I can just edit it and then I can just upload it. So I was going to come in and I was going to grab a shower and wash my hair and blow dry it and straighten it for the video but then I thought do you know what? Why? Why am I rushing about to make myself look the part for my videos and I just think this is my life like this is me. Yeah, so that shower and hair wash and stuff didn't really happen. At the end of the day, this is me. This is my life. This is basically the life of me after night shift. And there's no point in me dolling myself up and fixing my hair and washing my hair and straightening it and making me look fabulous for this video because, you know, there's days where I'm not going to be like that and this is like my life. So... Hey, I'm just off a night shift, I've come in the door, I've took the dogs out, I've just dropped everything and I've just jumped on to do a quick video before I go to bed. So I do look a wee bit worse for wear at the moment, but hey ho. Okay, so this video is going to be more about our den that we have made for Pixie and Roxy, Roxy in particular. Now, as you'll have noticed from, if you've watched our video of... Um, big news about Roxy when I talked about what happened in her most recent vet appointment then you will have seen that we had set up a red and white polka dot crate for her to basically have a den a safe place for her to go really when there was loud noises up the stairs so that crate was a bit of an eyesore so when I was at work at the weekend I was basically working Saturday Sunday day shift I was working Saturday, Sunday day shift and then I was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night shift and I'm now, this is us now on Thursday morning. So I've literally just done like five days in a row which I think I said in the last video I was going to do. So when I was working on the day shift, on the Saturday, I think it was on a Sunday actually, I'm, I'm getting my days all mixed up because I'm day shift, night shift, night shift, day shift, I don't even know what day it is. Um, but anyway, I think it was Sunday. And he went away to pets at home and he'd done a bit of tidying. I mean, I don't know what was wrong with him. He was just going absolutely crazy. He was clearing things out. He was being really busy. He was doing this, he was doing that. And that's not him. So I'm wondering what he's up to or what he's wanting or more importantly, what he's done. Because this is like new for him. But anyway... So on the Sunday he went to pets at home and he tried to figure out a better way of having this den because the corner, the, the bed, the food, the water and the bed, the crate sorry, and the toys were in was just very cluttered. There was like no room, it was like, it was just too messy. So I think he just took it upon himself to go and see what he could source from pets at home to make it look a bit better. He set things up and then he decided to return things because it just didn't work out. And then he, obviously I found, I found out that he was doing all this stuff and he sent me a picture of what it looked like when it was all set up before he returned it and I thought oh that actually looks quite nice. So he ended up going back to pets at home and then when I came home I seen it all set up and it does, it looks so much better. It's like I have a bit of the living room back. Um, the only thing is, um, some of you might be in a bit of a disagreement about it, but to be fair, it is more of a den than what it is. Oh, I kind of forgot what I was talking about now. My brain is night shift 
mode. I'm still on night shift mode and my brain is just total gobbledygook. Okay, so some of you might be in a bit of a disagreement with what myself and Jamie have done in the living room for their den, but to be fair, it's a lot better for us and it's a lot easier and it's a lot cleaner and there is plenty of room for the two of them. Unfortunately, it's not just a bed, it is in fact a crate. Now we have went back to a crate and this is the first time the girls have had a crate back in, or the first time we've had a crate back in the living room for probably a year or over a year actually, the more I think about it. Now, I remember when I done, I think it was my morning routine video, there was a lot of negativity about a crate. Now, I have my reasons for crate training the girls when they were puppies and I obviously took it upon myself to take the crate away and let them free roam the living room, not because of your guys' comments, it was for our own personal reasons. Now, since then, they've been doing really great. They've been absolutely fantastic free roaming. It's been great. And they still are going to free roam. The fact that there is now a crate in the living room doesn't change the fact that they're going to be locked away overnight, in a jail, um, not able to do this, not able to do that. That is not the case. So let me just put that out there right now before anybody puts any negative comments or anything like that. Um, the crate is merely there for a den, a safe place, as well as a bed area. And what Jamie has done is he has removed the door from the crate because the door was sticking out and it just looked an absolute eyesore. So what he's done is he's removed the door so it's just an open hole for the girls to go in and out as they please, when they want, whenever they want and to do whatever they want with. So that is what we have decided to do. So it is a bit strange having a crate back in our living room, a bit of, well, a proper crate back in our living room, but it does look tidier and it is so much better. And that red and white polka dot thing just didn't match our living room really. It was horrendous. <laughs> like I couldn't wait to get it down to be fair. Um, but yes, so Jamie got an extra large crate from Pets at Home and he also got a large bed to go in it and what we have done is we've put a blanket over the bed and we have put another cover over that blanket just to protect it if there's any sickness or anything like that then you know we can just wash the blanket and not have to wash the bed. And what we have also done is we have put the cover that was over the red and white crate and put it over this crate and their kind of dark grey blanket I've put down the front. I'll show you guys in a wee minute what it looks like. I just thought I would explain it first before I show you guys. Um, so yeah, so all that's really showing is a bit at the side near the wall because the blanket's not big enough and obviously the hole at the front. So I am trying to source a blanket that is big enough to go round the whole thing. I mean, I think I'm going to need a blanket that goes like down the way on the opposite side of the door. And in that way, it's kind of secluded in. It's away from sunlight. Well, it's obviously facing our window, but we've got the blinds down to a certain length so that the sun doesn't blare in away in the distance of the living room. And the fact that we now have a blanket over half of the front of it, then there is going to be a shaded area for them. Um, but yeah, it's going to be left open. Um, they can go in and out of it whenever they want. It was a wee bit of a nightmare, I think, to start off with for them kind of going in and out. It's not a place for us to force them into. It's not a negative place. It's a place to feel safe and calm and relaxed. So all we say is into bed and they go in. We are not physically lifting them and putting them in. We are just obviously guiding them in with a verbal command, which is absolutely fine. But the first night they went in it and then about five minutes later we checked on the camera and they were on the sofa, which is what they usually done anyway. Sometimes they go between the bed that was there and the sofa 
and sometimes they just end up lying on the floor, which is fine. The second to third night, which was the Tuesday night and last night, oh, it was yesterday. Yes, yesterday was Wednesday. My days are all over the place, honestly. So yesterday was Wednesday. So the last two nights, they were fine. They went in, slept. Roxy went in and slept. And I've got a couple of pictures of her. Jamie sent me a couple of pictures um, of them lying in there. And the good thing about having the camera set up is that when I was at work and when I was on my break, I was able to log in and see what the girls were up to, which I do more or less every time I'm on my break, I check in and see what the girls are doing. And they do lie in the crate, they have lay in it, so I'm not going to, ch I'm trying not to call it a crate, I'm trying to call it a den. So we'll call it a den. But yes, she has been lying in the den and I'd probably say more so now than the last two nights basically. Um, I think she's finally found it quite comfy. And Back. ladies, don't start. You knock my camera. And I think another reason for us changing to this and just having the kind of one area for them to lie in is because Roxy wasn't really grasping that the crate was somewhere safe for her to go because she would usually just go and lie on the big square bed. But that wasn't kind of secluded, it wasn't like nothing was covered over it, there wasn't a wee in bit for her to go and just hide away. Um, it was more open. So the reason why we decided to get rid of the bed was so that there was only one thing for them to lie in and she wasn't getting confused with, right, that's my bed and that's a safe place to go. Um, because she is a wee bit slow. So... Um, I just, we just decided obviously that this crate is back in action, sorry, the den is back in action and um, it's open to the world, they're not, never ever going to be locked in it and that's it. Hopefully it has a good effect when it comes to her behaviour in here and her anxiousness towards the, the banging up the stairs and stuff which hasn't actually been that bad the last couple of days. Um, but it's just nice to know that she feels that she's comfortable and she's safe in there. And today is obviously Thursday the 8th of June. So her x-ray appointment is actually tomorrow. And to be fair, I am really nervous, really dreading it. I do have a feeling of what it could be. In fact, I'm pretty certain it is what it could be but um, I think I just need confirmation. I have kind of prepared myself to think that there is something wrong, which I think for me is better to prepare myself for that because then if I go in and I get told some bad news, then I'm kind of prepared that, you know, there is something wrong and I've kind of like geared myself up for it and thought, well, you know, I kind of knew there was going to be an issue. Whereas if I go in, and obviously I've prepared myself for that, if I go in and I get told that there's absolutely nothing wrong, then I'm going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm so shocked, like, that that's amazing, you know, type thing. So, we'll play it by ear and see how she gets on um, tomorrow. Hey! Don't you dare bite your sister. different surroundings okay you guys so this is the crate here let me just move over just a wee bit so you can kind of see um, the size of it it is an extra large crate which is the same crate that we had before when the girls were crated excuse me when the girls were crated it's the same size although this is the silver one i'll get the hiccups now <laughs> This is a silver crate but with two doors so it's got the side door and it's got the the front door and the last crate we had didn't go along the way it came more out the way because it only had the front door so because it has a side door it's more long ways now which gives us a wee bit more room here for things and the toy box is obviously in there and it fits quite snug with the wall Oh, maybe it's your leg. Mm-hmm. So what we have done is we have used 
the blanket. This was Roxy's puppy blanket. So we've used this blanket just to shield over this side. And then we've used that, that cover that was from our bed on over the top. And as you can see, it doesn't really cover this side of the wall. So I'm planning on getting an even bigger one. And hopefully the... Hopefully the label's still on this. I've not actually looked yet because I've been night shift, but hopefully the label's still on that and I can look at the measurements and then try and get like a bigger one. And then it'll cover the other side. And then, like I said, we've basically got the same mattress that we had in the other, the travel crate, like this one. Jamie's tucked it all in, but we've basically got like this mattress in here. I'd better tuck that back in, otherwise Jamie's going to go off his head, messing up his handiwork. And then we've got the cover that was over the big square bed, over that bed, and then we've got the blanket, the kind of comfort blanket as I call it, um, over the actual cover so that they are all protected and they love kind of they ruffle that cover up, they do this wee whole thing like a rabbit jump or something and that's them basically making themselves comfy with that blanket so I'm really happy with that and then they've got Pixie's um, puppy toy in there and her favourite toy the dinosaur and that's just merely for like comfort so that is it really so as you can see the door has been removed so there is no door apart from obviously the door that's facing the wall but you can't get into that door so yes it is a crate but no they're not locked in it overnight they are left open they can go in they can lie on the sofa during the night they can lie on the floor at night they can do what they want at night and um, this is just really a kind of den for safety for Roxy and some protection if she feels anxious in any way whatsoever and the fact that I know that she can feel safe in there is quite reassuring so yes that is our new den I keep wanting to call it a crate but it's a new den um, for the girls and that is it so let me know in the comments what you guys think I know some people have um, different views on crates and things like that but please rest assured that they are never going to be locked in it it's not a prison it's not a jail they have their water here they can run about whenever they want um, but yes let me know if you guys have a safe place for your dogs and what you have in place for that like do you have a, a crate with covers over it or do you have another type of den that you use or I don't know but leave me a comment down below and um, let me know what you guys think okay so that is us for this video I am going to tidy up and get some sleep and then when I get up I'll probably just edit this video and just post it up straight away because today is absolutely miserable it's pouring of rain outside so I'll just sleep edit this do some housework and then get Roxy ready and things ready for tomorrow aim um, for her extra excuse me oh i think it's time to call it a day you guys <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you like this video and as always please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video bye guys